Hey everybody, this is Jamie Buter with 432 Design, and I have uh, uh, quite a few things I want to uh, talk to you guys about. A lot of, it, a lot of really good information. Uh, one of the first things I want to talk about is blood plasma. What is blood plasma? All right, this came from the oceanplasma.org website. All right, and they're talking about seawater as a safe blood plasma uh, substitute. Diluted seawater contains almost the same concentration of minerals and trace elements as blood plasma, and yet sodium content, ma uh, content matches that of blood. It has been used successfully in animal tests as a blood transfusion substitute. All right, so what you do, what, what they've done is they've taken, they've taken seawater and diluted it down, right, instead of the 30 to 40,000 parts per million, they diluted it down, and they just ran it in, in through, into animals as a blood transfusion, and it, they were fine, all right. So that was one of the interesting things um, about the uh, uh, oceans, ocean minerals and seawater. I'm going to get to this in a little bit. Um, also on their website, they, they talk about seawater also has something about it that makes it more than just water. It's to, it sustains life, as, as proved by Nobel laureate Alexis Carroll, who kept a piece of chicken heart tissue alive in it for 26 years. She kept a, a, a chicken heart tissue alive in, in seawater for 26 years, all she had to do was just, you know, trade out the water, you know, to get rid of all the, the metabolic waste. So we had to, she had to put fresh seawater in there, but she kept a chicken heart or chicken heart tissue alive for 26 years in seawater. Now, if seawater is, is, can be used for blood plasma, right, if you, can, if you can use it as a transfusion, why, why, you know, why aren't we, why isn't this being talked about, all right? Ocean minerals are crucial. Now, I've, several people have said, well, you know, you've, if you're taking the, all these minerals, they're, they're the rocks. Well, if you take the pills or the powder and all this stuff that's in, these, in, the, in, uh, in supermarkets and health food stores, well, yeah, it's, it's terrible stuff. You, what you need is pure ocean minerals like, like we have here. This is, this is pure ocean minerals, 9,000 parts per million, okay? Um, but I'll get to this in a second. So let me just talk about plasma water. Now, what is plasma water? Because somebody asked me or sent me a question about that. Does this device do the same thing as what plasma water does? Now, what is plasma water? Essentially, um, plasma water is a device, all right, the plasma reactor, you've got air and water going in, just like we have air and water going in. Wire is actually being sucked in through the holes. I'll get to that in a little bit. But anyway, they got air and water going into this little chamber here, and they're using uh, electrodes to create a, a lightning, a spark, a plasma, okay, if you will. And that's how they treat the water, and that's it. Then they collect it, and they put it on plants. Now, they, they show in here where this is plasma treated, uh, plasma water treated plant, and this is regular tap water. You can see the, you can see the huge difference. All right, now, what, what this leads me now into is what is this device doing? What is this? And what is... And what is uh, sonoluminescence? Now, sonoluminescence is, in a nutshell, is when you take a bubble and you, or a collapse a bubble. Now, there's four, five, six different ways to create sonoluminescence in the lab. It's not like it's, it's a hyperbole. It's been proven. I've seen it. You can see videos on YouTube about it. But there are uh, several ways to do it. You can, uh, they have a shake tube sonoluminescence, a drop tower. Uh, sulfuric acid, um, uh, let's see, they got acoustic neutron, right, different, all different ways of doing it, acoustic horn, bubble jetting, uh, cavitation and micro streaming, uh, multi-bubble sonoluminescence, and what we have here is called uh, flow-induced cavitation, okay, cavitation, uh, bubble cavitation, and sonoluminescence are the same thing, the whole process is uh, of water cavitation, <laughs> is uh, the term for sonoluminescence, right? So fl uh, flow-induced cavitation is water flowing uh, through a constriction creates cavitation and light. Now, this is what we have flowing through here. We have the platonic solids and water flowing through this constriction right here, all right? Through, the, through these geometries, uh, the, these varying geometries of the platonic solids, right? We're flowing through a constriction. Now, everybody knows that, well, not everybody, but a lot of people in, in this line of work, they know that... that um, uh, architecture, right, for example, architecture is this solidified music, right? Geometry is solidified music, right? It's solidified vibration, it's solidified sound. So with the right geometry, you're essentially creating sound. You're creating the restriction and the sound, right, through the angles of the platonic solids, right? As the water, the, the mineralized, the high mineralized uh, seawater concentrate added to tap water, flowing through uh, the, the platonic solids in this geometry that we have here in the, um, the rose quartz, 
<coughs> excuse me. It what it's what creates uh, constriction flow cavitation, and this is why we're getting all the bubbles now. In the process of developing this, this is the original prototype. In the process of developing this thing, when I got it like this, right, if I changed anything about the device, if I lowered the stack an inch and a half, this whole thing wouldn't work. You wouldn't get these bubbles like this. If I changed the diameter of the, the inner diameter of the tubing, right, if I increased it by just a sixteenth of an inch or reduced it by a sixteenth of an inch, this whole thing wouldn't work. If I put another bend or an elbow into this whole thing, right, it wouldn't work. I was shocked. I was trying to do all these different things, right? And every time I changed or did anything different than this design here, it, it, uh, it didn't create these bubbles. Now, it's, I mean, it's an amazing thing. The water tastes unbelievably different than when it comes right out of this device. So just wanted to sum up, right? blood plasma, sea minerals, all right? We have some. You can find them on the website, 9,000 parts per million. And they have anywhere from 72 to 90 trace elements, minerals, all right? Minerals and trace elements, they are electrolytes, okay? It is what allows the, the body is an electrical device okay everything from the from the nerves to the brain to how how the the body uses water right how it electrifies water to drop off nutrients and it, it uses electricity to pick up waste all right it's an electrical device the human body without minerals without electrolytes right it's it's not working and no wonder uh, people have you know fibromyalgia and ms and all, i mean where are all these diseases coming from right uh, it, it, it's just, it's absolutely ridiculous and that we don't know more about, you know, what, I mean, there's stuff done in the 30s, all right, from the 1920s and the 1930s, we have a plethora of information about the benefits of highly mineralized water, uh, charged water. Um, I'm doing experiments right now with, with plants. I'm going to have a, I'm going to publish a study soon about the difference in how this, uh, we're going to be showing the different plant stages. You know, we got, we got plants soaking in, um, in water right now tap water, mineral water, and then the energy water. I mean, there is something about this whole process with the minerals in there that energizes it. Because if I, if I just put tap water in here, it doesn't bubble like this. It doesn't get that action like this, okay? You have to have the minerals. You have to have the electrolytes in there for this whole process to take place. And I'm telling you, it is magical. Uh, several people around here, this one, this one guy, uh, he, he took this water, his, his chickens, it's hot. It's like almost 100 degrees in, in Arkansas this, for the past two weeks, almost every day, at least in the 90s. And his chickens, the eggs just went off of production almost off, right? After a week of feeding the chickens this water, the egg production doubled, what more than doubled. He had tomato plants that had d dusty mold, pottery mold on it, and the, and the bugs were eating the leaves. A week and a half later of putting this water and foliar feeding and spraying and, and feeding the plant the water, the, they're, 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 the tomatoes are just are, are going crazy. Leaves are coming back. The bugs aren't messing with them. There is no mold on them. They're just, it's taken off. Everything's taken off. I mean, that's why I say it in, my, in the website, how people are blown away. They're absolutely blown away. Aches and pains, gone. Now, when I first came up with this device, people were drinking it for two weeks while I was uh, trying to figure out how to do a commercial build of this, right? So they drank it for two weeks. When I told you, when I tweaked the thing, and I created another device that didn't bubble like that, they drank that for a week, and everything started to go downhill, all right? So we got back onto this device, they started drinking this water again, and the pains went away. The little swellings that came up, they all went away again, all right? <coughs> so um, having, mineral, having minerals, ocean minerals, not, not the ones you get in the store, these powdery, pilly, rocky things, right? I'm talking about ionic minerals, ocean minerals. It's a liquid. It's completely dissolved solids. You have to have that in the water with your... With your um, energizing device. I'm not even sure what to call this. It's not even really the, a declustering device anymore. It's definitely not a structuring device. We know you're, you can't structure water. All right? That's just ridiculous. So um, anyway, I just wanted to get out this information about the importance of, uh, of seawater, blood plasma, what the difference between plasma water is and what these people are doing with lightning. They're, they have to, you know, have that electrical charge in the water to get it to, you know, they're, they're using it as a um, um, the spray on, on apple trees and in orchards and stuff because you don't have to use pesticides with this with this type of water all right and the plasma water is, is essentially what's going on here but you're not using high voltage to do it you're using sound resonance you're using the geometry of the photonic solid you're using the the device and how this thing works to to create that sun luminescence which is essentially this way but it's much cheaper this is a 285 dollar device the other ones are thousands and thousands of dollars okay so um i think that's pretty much all i had so uh, thanks for watching.